As you saw in our last video, the tracking capabilities of the Mavic Air 2 are incredible. And in this video, we're taking it a little bit faster. Hi, I'm Ashton Droning on, and the Mavic Air 2 has some really impressive Active Track and A Pass capabilities, especially compared to the other drones that DJI have released in the past. The only downside or limitation of the tracking capabilities is the lack of side sensing. This has almost tripped up us, but also many other users of the drone, because of course, when you're using Active Track modes and the drone is sliding to the left and the right, it can't see what's on the left and the right. Therefore, you really have to keep your eyes open and get ready to take manual control of the drone at any time. Time. But I've also seen some confusion around the various modes, specifically around trace and parallel. And so today we're going to take the Mavic Air 2 out with my e-scooter and we're going to capture some awesome footage whilst also showing you how to use these modes. Enjoy the video. So I travelled out far away from everybody and roads and stuff to do this active track test and I'm quite excited. Got the lovely Mavic Air here with me and I'll be testing it with my awesome little e-scooter. I love these things, they're such a great way to get about. And it's electric, it's got a really good range, and it has a top speed of 25 kilometers an hour as well. So it'll be a really nice test to see how it keeps track. As mentioned, we're gonna test the parallel, the trace mode, and maybe we'll test orbit, depending on if we can fly it somewhere where we don't need to worry about it crashing sideways into something, because it has no sensors on the sides. But we'll see how we get on. Anyway, let's get it up in the air and get into the app. Okay, so I've got everything set to auto, and I do that because it's nice for you to see what you can achieve without having to be try and be clever with settings. Let's arm it, check complete on the props, start them spinning. Take and off. up we go. The home point has been oh, updated. Oh, I love this Please drone. Please check it's it on the map. <laughs> so cool. Right, so I'm gonna start quite high initially, actually, <clears throat> just to show what it's like from a distance. You can see me down there, hello. Got the app recording. We've got the Osmo action recording as well. I don't have any ND filters on the drone. It's purely as it is from the box. Okay, so it's in the air. Now going to select me, draw a box. And then you press this little button here to choose between trace and parallel. We're gonna go trace mode first at this current altitude. Trace will basically always tail behind you. It's gonna follow you and get behind you and keep, keep looking at you. So I'm gonna try that first. Go. And it's now on trace mode, so it's following me. So in theory, if I now get on the little scooter, got my transmitter here, and off we go. Wait, a bit bouncy. And it's now following me. Now I probably really should be wearing a helmet for safety, but I'm a bit of a rebel. Now it is incredibly bumpy on this path and it's not the most ideal path to be testing this on, in all honesty. Uh, but as you can see, it's keeping track of me. I've got the controller in my hand, so at any point I can take control of it and then go into manual flight. Oh, I wish this thing had suspension. <laughs> but it definitely hasn't. But it's still following me. We're doing 20 kilometers at the moment, 20 kilometers an hour. That's about 14 miles per hour, I think, something like that. Now, it's coming up some trees. What's it gonna do? Is it gonna go around them? <gasps> yeah, it flew around them very nicely. So, looking for a lovely little path down here somewhere. Can't quite remember where it is. And then what we'll do when we get to that path is we'll bring it down in altitude a little bit. Oh, look at this lovely grass path down here. It's so pretty here. Right, so it's in here, I believe. We go around here a little bit. Uh... <laughs> Trust me to choose the bumpiest bit of ground. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stop at that point. What I'm going to do now is just bring it down in altitude a little bit and we'll do a bit of trace lower level. Now this is where a pass is going to of course kick in because we're now at low level and so obviously it's going to have to avoid a whole lot more. 
Um, gonna keep it quite close to me as well. I like the fact that you can reposition it when you're in act active track. So at any point on the controller here, I'm just simply repositioning the direction of it and the placement. So, okay, let's see if we can find this little path. This scooter, by the way, is the Xiaomi M365 and it's absolutely brilliant. Right, now this is really going to test this drone. I'm not sure how well or badly this is going to be, but hopefully APAS will do all the work here. So let's see what happens. I'm going to go quite fast through here as well. I'm listening out. Ah, now it's got stuck. Oh no, it's carrying on. It got stuck, but it did actually carry on. That's... Uh, no, it looks like it's a bit worried about coming closer. So I'm just going to walk and see if it does eventually carry on. It, yeah, it's find its way through. It's funny, really. The active track on this drone does seem to very much um, depend on you moving. If you stop, it panics. And it, that, that's when it then seems to lose you. But I mean, it's doing pretty good now. Now, there's some overhead branches coming up here that are definitely going to pose a problem. <laughs> I think, but we will see. Ah, now it's lost me and it is stuck. Okay, let's go and retrieve it. So this will be interesting to see if it reacquires me. There it is. It has reacquired me. So if I go past it, let's see what happens. Is it going to come after me? No, it seems to have Seems to be in a mood. <laughs> um, okay, that's odd how it didn't come back to me. So let's go and... I'm over here, drone. So it can see me. It hasn't reacquired me, though, if you look at the app. So I'm just going to fly it. Yeah, you see here, it hasn't, hasn't locked back onto me. So target may have changed, so I'll reacquire me. To be fair, this is incredibly hard territory to try and track somebody here. So I'm not really surprised that that failed. I'm gonna put it back on trace mode and then go. Okay, and we're off. Back on the scooter. Ooh, <laughs> that noise it makes when it flies up towards you. It's a bit hair raising, but it's great. Okay, now my Osmo action mount has failed miserably here. Right, here we go. So, ow. Ooh. So it is following us. At this point, something odd happened. The drone strangely just slides to the left and into the hedge for no apparent reason. You can see from the app that it still had a full lock on me, and so I haven't a clue why it did this, but if it had side sensors like the Mavic 2, this wouldn't have happened. Fortunately, nothing was damaged as it landed in soft grass, and so we can carry on. So here's another example. Take off. We're going to go up again here. Just move to a different the place. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Me. So let's go up a little bit. Going to put the angle down. Log on to me. Put it onto trace mode and go. And up onto the scooter. And off we go. It's such a lovely place to fly here, but also just a scooter in general. It's so pretty. If I take it up a little bit higher, let's see how well it can do. So I'm doing this whilst on the scooter. You can adjust it whilst it's in flight, which is really cool. A little bit bumpy on here. Ugh. I was hoping this would be smoother so I could test it going a bit faster. That's uh, looking unlikely now. Go a little bit higher. And the obstacle avoidance really not needing to do anything here because it's there's not really a lot to avoid. <laughs> but remember, this is trace mode, so it'll always stay behind me. The only scenario where it won't be behind you. Oh, it's actually lost me. That's frustrating. So I think that's probably because I took it a bit too high. So I'm just going to press stop. 
the flight back over to me manually. And it's trying its best to find me, but it can't at the moment. So let's log it back onto me. Here we go. Draw a box around me. Can it see me? Draw another box, that's better. Okay, put it on trace mode and go. And off we go. Let's see if it can keep track of me this time. Love these e-scooters. Absolutely brilliant. Look at this pretty lake over here as well. Isn't that beautiful? Right, so this here is an ideal place to try out one of the other modes. So this mode is called parallel mode. So basically you position it to the angle that you want it to follow you. So I'm going to put it to the side of me here. And this is an ideal place to do it because I can see that there's no obstacles. I'm going to draw a box around me now like this. And then I'm going to change the mode to parallel and press go. Ah, it says too far away, so I'm going to have to fly it closer to me. And now it's got me. So I'm on go now. So in theory, if I start moving, it should now stay in that position to the side of me. And it is. So I'll pick up the pace a little bit. Doing 18 kilometers an hour, 20 kilometers an hour. It is slipping back a little bit and further back. And it's probably going to, I mean, it's not doing bad. It is kind of tracing the position, but it's not really staying in the position that I put it in. So what we'll do now is try it a little bit lower down and a bit closer towards me. So I'm going to do this whilst it's flying. Here we go, like that. Okay, and I'm going to put it slightly ahead of me as well, actually. That would be interesting, but not entirely ahead, just a quarter angle. Okay. You can even change how offset you are in the image. So I'm going to centralize myself. So using the your command on the sticks. Right, let's give this a try. So let's see if it can stay in that orientation. It's not doing a bad job, but it's realizing it has to go faster. Again, the faster you go, the better it is. A little bit like um, in trace mode as well. The quicker you move, the better it is. Oh, now for Australia, I'm running out of battery here. Ah, but just before we run out of battery, I'm going to try one other test here, which is a test I recommend you guys be very careful with. And this is to position it in front of you. Now, the reason to be careful is if it detects an object behind it, it's going to stop and you're going to go straight into it. So don't ever position it directly above you at your head height. You always want it above your head height. But let's see how well it caters for this. We've got plenty of battery at the moment, actually. So let's see if it can keep following me. Oh, oh come on, scooter. So when I go faster, it knows it needs to fly faster. It's drifting off to the right at the moment. It's losing its parallel positioning, that's for sure. Yeah. And now it's gone from being in front of me to absolutely being behind me. I'm at full speed now, 25 kilometers an hour. That is quite disappointing, actually. Here it is. And even though I've stopped now, it's still not trying to get in front of me. So that is a shame because it is in parallel is mode. The aircraft and so will it should the really be coming to fly seconds. in front of me, but it's not. I think parallel mode's got a lot to be desired. It's just not right yet with this drone. I think it needs a bit more work. But hopefully they'll work on that. They'll crack it. And eventually it'll be much more reliable. But in the meantime, it is a great fun little drone. It's really, really good at what it does. Hope you enjoyed this. Three. Speak to you later. Two, one. So there you go. As you can see, it has some incredible tracking capabilities. The lack of side sensing is, however, a problem. And also, I think the ActiveTrack system for trace and especially parallel 
does need a little bit more work to make sure that parallel remains parallel. But regardless, it's still a great feature and a brilliant drone. You can see more about the Mavic Air 2 by clicking the link in the video description. Comment below with your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're just miserable. And of course, click that subscribe button as well. Thanks very much for watching.